Welcome to Pharmacy House Australia. Today, we have an exciting epilepsy scenario that will not only assist you in your pharmacy exams but also provide you with valuable insights for real-world cases. Stay until the end for additional study questions. Now let's dive straight into it. Hi Mrs. Summer. What can I do for you today? Hi, I would like to get a prescription filled for Valpro 81 gram twice daily please. Of course was the prescription for yourself. Yes it was for myself. Could you please tell me if you have had this medication before? Yes I've been using this medication for about a year now. How are you going with this medication? Things are well. I was diagnosed with epilepsy last year following a seizure triggered by a stressful event related to a family member's passing. Since then, I have been using Valpro 8 as prescribed. I get the occasional jerking movements but my doctor is monitoring it. That's wonderful to hear. In order for me to be thorough, could you please tell me what other medical conditions you have or if you are taking any other medications, including over-the-counter medications and herbal products? Certainly. I currently take a daily dose of levothyroxine at 100 micrograms, which I have been stable on for over 5 years. Additionally, I recently started taking Elevit tablets last week as I am planning to fall pregnant soon. Things have been going well and my husband and I would like to try for a baby by Christmas. To manage my reflux, I take esomeprazole at a daily dosage of 20 mg. I have been on this medication for a few weeks now. As per my doctor's advice, I will be discontinuing the use of esomeprazole next week. Thanks for letting me know. It's wonderful to hear that you have plans to conceive soon. Elevit is indeed a beneficial multivitamin for pregnancy. Does your doctor know that you are pregnancy planning? Not yet unfortunately. We suggest pausing the video at this point for approximately 5 minutes. Take this time to jot down the problems you have identified in a given scenario. Consider any issues or concerns that stand out to you. Additionally, think about any additional questions you would like to ask the patient to gather more information. Finally, based on the information provided thus far, think about what you as a pharmacist would do in this situation. Now let's dive back into our scenario. Mrs. Summer I would highly recommend having a conversation with your doctor regarding the possibility of changing your medication from Valpro 8 to an alternative option. Valpro 8 has been associated with the risk of major birth defects, and so it is recommended patients be switched to a different anti-epileptic drug when trying to become pregnant. If you don't mind waiting I can give your doctor a call now to discuss the situation. Yes please. That would be great. Hi doctor, I'm Brianna the pharmacist next door. I have a mutual patient of ours Mrs. Summer who has been stable on Valpro 8 for epilepsy for almost a year. She has just informed me that she hopes to fall pregnant soon. As you may be aware Valpro 8 usage throughout pregnancy has been linked to the development of facial clefts, impaired cognitive abilities, and hypospadias. In light of this information, I believe it would be best not to dispense her Valpro A today and consider exploring alternative medication options. What are your thoughts? Thank you for informing me, I appreciate you reaching out. I believe it is a wise decision to transition Mrs. Summer to an alternative medication. Please refrain from dispensing her Valpro A prescription today. Kindly ask Mrs. Summer to visit me today, so I can personally discuss the available options with her. Could you also please send a list of medications that may be good alternatives for her so I can look into these? Yes no worries thanks for your time. Thank you for your patience Mrs. Summer. I have just spoken with your doctor, and we have decided it is best to change your medication to a safer alternative. The doctor has requested that you see him today to discuss the various options. Do you have any questions? Thank you very much and I don't have any further questions at the moment. See you next time. See you later. Now let's go through some important points. When the patient returns to the pharmacy with a prescription for a new medication, it will be necessary for you to provide counseling to them. To ensure that your counseling and communication are effective, we recommend following this format. Watch your in-depth video on medication counseling using the link in the description below to ace this section and blow the examiners away. Now, before we wrap up, I'd like to provide you with some study questions that can help you feel more confident when dealing with epilepsy scenarios in your exam. These questions are designed to cover different aspects of epilepsy, ensuring that you have a comprehensive understanding of the topic. 
Write your answers in the comments below. Also if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We regularly share valuable content to support your learning journey. Good luck with your pharmacy studies, and remember, knowledge is power.